What's up, you guys? My name is Valerie. Welcome back to the MotoPress YouTube channel. As the name of this video suggests, today we're going to talk about the WordPress appointment booking plugin, a go-to solution for any appointment and service-based business. And to be more precise, we will focus on its elementary widget called Appointment Form that will allow your customers to book an appointment directly from your WordPress site. So, from this tutorial, you'll learn how to add and customize an appointment booking wizard and put your entire customer flow management on autopilot. After watching this video, don't forget to check out the description box below to find all the useful links. You can also easily rewatch different parts of this video with chapters available. No prizes for guessing, you'll need two WordPress plugins to be installed and activated Elementor, free or pro version, and Motopress appointment booking. You don't need any extra integration plugins to bridge the two. Once both are operating on your WordPress site, you're ready to start. Add any booking wizard, a part of which is a booking calendar, to your WordPress site is actually the final step. For the appointment form to work properly for your clients, you first need to make sure that you edit all the needed content via the Motopress booking plugin and configured the essential settings. Start by going to the settings menu to configure basic plugin parameters such as currency, a default time slot for bookings, and the rest of the settings. After that, you should add employees by visiting the employees menu. In the employee profile, you can add a staff member's image and their bio or skills. You can add more categorized employee information using dedicated contact blocks. When you assign any services to your employees, the list of them will be visible in the general list of employees. Then. Add a database of locations via the Locations menu. You can add unlimited locations. So those can be cities, uh, city areas, rooms, buildings, whatever. You'll need to assign employees to different locations and you can assign a category to each location too. Now, it's time for creating schedules for individual employees. So, head to the Schedules menu. In the timetable for each day of the week, you can choose a shift duration, lunch time, and break duration. Optionally, set a different location depending on the time of the week. The scheduling flexibility of the plugin also allows you to add uh, days off by choosing specific dates and extra custom working times by choosing dates and specific working hours. All these settings apply to the individual employees, so you can create different schedules. You can also make changes to schedules anytime. You can also display an employee schedule on the side using a widget and I'll show it a little bit later. Next, let's proceed to the services menu to add and customize the list of services you offer, specifying their duration, price, capacity, eligible employees and more settings. It's important to keep customers informed throughout the whole journey, that's why it's also necessary to set up email notifications. Once you are off the top, go to the page where you want to add a booking calendar. Open Elementor. On the left side, you'll see the Elementor sidebar. Scroll down to the Widgets panel to find Appointment Booking Integrated Widgets. Choose the Appointment Form widget. Simply click on the widget title and hold the mouse button down and drag a widget to the place where you'd like to add the new module. At that point, release the mouse button. That process of dragging and dropping brings much fun, doesn't it? So, here we are. Once you add it to the page, you can see many settings in the widget toolkit 
you can adjust to achieve the needed widget look. For example, you can show or hide such fields as a service category, location, and employee by using a toggle switch. Show or hide depends on your preferences or necessity. No doubt, the service field is mandatory. That's why it can be hidden. It doesn't matter how many fields you decide to show after all. At least one or all four. You are free to customize each of its labels. Just type the new title in. What's more, it's possible to rename a label for the unselected service field. The same option is provided for the unselected service category, location, and employee fields. The next settings are designed especially for the pages dedicated to the separate services or employees. Now, I'll try to explain. While editing an appointment form to the particular page with one of the service descriptions, you can pre-select the form so that the prospect won't need to search for it in the drop-down menu. So the service category and service can be predefined. They'll need only to pick out the location and opt for one of the staff members. You'll agree that it makes the process for the client faster and more convenient. By the way, this option will also come in handy if your site offers services only in one location. One more example with the employee page. Select his or her name beforehand instead of any. And so the visibility of adjusting these settings can't be underestimated. It will definitely simplify the process of the reservation. Optionally, add CSS or custom HTML. Needless to say, in the Advanced tab, you'll find more options for customization. That's it! You've linked the booking calendar to the Elementor-based site. Now it's high time to see how an appointment scheduling solution works from the customer's perspective. Firstly, the client selects a service category, service, location, and an employee, or at least a service. The next step will be picking a date from the calendar. The available time slots for the chosen date appear so you can book your preferred appointment time. Once you select the date from the calendar and time slot, the booking gets added to a card. Just a little disclaimer. For this video, I'm using the 1.4.1 version of the plugin, and if you use 1.3.1 or earlier, the process will slightly differ. I have enabled multi-booking mode, which essentially turns uh, our event booking flow into one similar to a shopping cart. As we see, users can book many events in one go with the help of the Add More Services button. Click on it to schedule more appointments. These steps can be repeated numerous times. It's also possible to remove the service from the list. Once you've done, you can see the card total. It's like the preview of the actual order before going to the checkout. At the checkout, customers are shown a price breakdown. At this stage, the user also fills in personal details, namely a name, email address, phone number, and finally hits the reserve button. The text uh, your client see depends on the booking confirmation mode you set in the settings. I hope I managed to convince you that it's a straightforward step-by-step -step process with a sleek and intuitive design. Your clients will breeze through it and be knocking at your door in no time. As you see, there are different elementary widgets attached to the appointment booking plugin, not just the calendar. You are free to edit each widget to your heart's content. For example, you can also create a list of your team members, services list, employee schedules, and more. Each of them will have their own list of settings.
For example, for your employee list, you can decide to show a person avatar, uh, contact info, and so forth, as well as choose the exact people you want to showcase. It's also easy to add a list of services and optionally customize its content and styling. It's worth noting that the Multipress WordPress Appointment Booking Calendar plugin works for the Gutenberg Block Editor in a similar way, allowing you to customize the calendar-related blocks in the native WordPress interface. Indeed, appointment scheduling solutions have a lot of advantages, both to service providers and their customers. Scheduled appointments give service providers the ability to manage customer flow and also provide an overview of the required services in the coming days. With this information, the resource allocation planned in advance. Staff can be better prepared, which will reduce stress. And if you have an online scheduling software solution in place, customers know uh, that you care about their wants and needs. They have access to book appointments 24 hours per day, 7 days a week. This gives your customers full control of the appointment booking process and allowing them to meet at a time and place that works best for them. So, WordPress, WordPress appointment booking is a win-win for customers, employees and service providers. With all being said, scheduling appointments for multiple services, staff members, and locations is a headache without a suitable tool. The WordPress appointment booking plugin by Motopress will make sure that the booking process is as easy as it gets. With it, prospects can schedule meetings in just a few clicks whenever the moment is right. The appointment form widget is the essential part of it and in its turn is designed to make using it a breeze. The booking wizard lets your clients book appointments by automatically suggesting available time slots based on the services, location and employee they select. The drag and drop elemental tools for their part will make it as easy as possible to link an appointment calendar to WordPress. Of course, all the plugin content should be added beforehand to allow your customers to book a free slot for their appointment. And it won't be a problem, as we have tons of useful tutorials on our channel to help you configure all the necessary settings. So, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to smash the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to keep your finger on the pulse, I mean to be first who will watch useful tips, reviews, updates and new features available, ring the bell to get notifications about new videos. Last but not least, leave us a comment by writing what themes would you like to see in the list of Motopress appointment templates. That's pretty much it for today. Take care and see you soon!